What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, um, we've been pretty much sparring with the Austrians and we've also now put ourselves in a position to, to, to declare war on Prussia and allow us to take back some of our former territories while we're advancing north because Prussia and Russia went to war. So this gives us an opportunity to chop to chip out some gains in Central Europe. And we've also been growing up our navy, because our navy now, at Athens, has a first rate, a couple of seconds, and we've got some more ships on the way. Which I think is pretty neat. So we've sent our spies out across the board. Afghanistan has declared on us, but it's just Afghanistan. But we have spies watching the border with the Mughal Empire. Thankfully, they are no longer at war. They're no longer allied with the Prussians. Which is what I was something I was really concerned about, but that's not uh, that's not factored into it. So we're going to hit and turn and watch what happens. So it looks like the Austrians have not given up on their intent to uh, fight us, mainly because I suspect they have no other enemies, but. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, we will continue to advance and hope that for the meantime, uh, Russia draws most of Prussia's offensive. This could be an opportunity to also land grab from Russia as well, um, but I think I'd rather focus on cementing my gains in the centre because Prussia is a very potential dangerous enemy. No, I'm not going to trade Georgia for Astrakhan. <clears throat> no territories for you, Russia. We do have an army sat in the Caucasus waiting if we want to attack. But for now, I think the best option is to just let the Russians do what they're going to do. Focus in the in Central Europe. And once we've built... Because the thing is with Central Europe, there are lots of very good tax um tax regions t tax regions to take whereas you know the russian step is a bit ha! so now the question is who can get to uh, where faster is he gonna beat me to zahedan i doubt it because i'm now on the road <laughs> i'm now on the road straight to kabul you done messed up so we've got some ports Industry buildings, Bandar Bas has been upgraded, which is good. So I might just steamboat straight down to the next. Okay, how's our... Okay, we are growing. I mean, I don't know, Anatolia is unhappy with me. So gave you to a Turkish bath. Lots of ports to upgrade. Got a cotton plantation to get more stuff to market. Okay, for whatever reason, you... For some reason, these guys weren't replenishing previously. But I think what I'm going to do is... Probably go ahead and declare war on Prussia. So the ally with Austria, Württemberg, and Sweden. But I think I do want. Well, this, to be honest, this reinforcing army might end up becoming its own army. Secure General Abdul Hamid Hoka. So right now it's a very unbalanced and poor quality army. But we do know we've got these guys incoming. I would like to, I'd, I'd be curious if I could step out onto the bridge if I could force them to engage in a bridge battle but I'm not sure it would let me. They might just run around here. 
I don't know if my if my zone of control would be enough. Well, they could test it. No, they could just run around here. But there is no road, so I'm wondering how long that would take. I think it's worth worth experimenting with. So if we did lose the city, we could easily recapture it. But I think Prussia, who doesn't like us because we cancel our trade agreement, declare war. So we've lost our trade with Sweden because Sweden is joining them. And let's try and do a separate peace deal with Sweden. Come on, Sweden, let's just get back to normal. Yeah, I'll give you Kark a shot for peace. I don't want any random Swedish. Good. So I gave them Kark a shot, <laughs> and I've dealt with Sweden on our flank. So let's go hit Ayasi, which is going to be an auto. Do a bit of replenishment. You guys in the Star Fort. Push on into Klausenberg. It's probably going to be an auto as well. So now we've got some visibility on what lay ahead of us. So it's only just started heating up, everyone. Now we get to see the real fun. Get a bit of a look behind Austria's front lines. Looks like they might be going to for Transylvania. Hmm. I'm skeptical of Sweden's intentions. Oh, that's okay. Where are you going to go? Who's? I need to actually look. Who's Sweden at war with? Looks like the French are rebelling. They're probably at war with Prussia. If they are, that would be perfect. Yeah, Prussia is rebuilding, or is building its forces up to respond to this declaration of war. I bet they're moving troops all over the shop now, inside their territory. And I may even deploy my navy to the Western Mediterranean to interfere with uh, Prussian trade. See, Sweden does have, they've got navies, they've got full stack armies, that's just not stuff that is worth bothering about. I may as well just make peace with them so I don't have to worry about a sudden attacking stack on my border doing a huge amount of damage to me. Yeah, Afghanistan's realised <laughs> it's got massive problems. Like, aha, we're going to attack them. Oh no. Damn, they accidentally snuck diamond formation through. Um. Okay, I'm going to do other stuff first, then I'll come back to this. So let's replenish my men that have made the assaults. So let's march up a unit of Janissary Musketeers to Klausenberg. You're still replenishing. You're going to take position in the fort. We're going to pick up the rebuilding of these government buildings. As well as turn this chap into a madrasa. Make sure you're replenished. Let's pick up. A, a bunch of Israeli to send north just to support this position. Let's pick. Let's also get. Cheap iron workshop and upgrade. 
the religious building here. Let's probably build one here as well. Just, just start converting. Just start converting the the, uh, the population. And let's also take our navy. Actually, let's bolster our navy a little bit. So three ships. So let's get rid of. Get rid of the last fifth rates because they're now too lightweight. Add these ships into the mix. There we go. That's a navy. Send them over to hostile shores. Let's raid Marseille. out here and steal money although we, we are we're not, not losing cash we're just not gaining as much as i would like a bit ahead of government would be good as well see that morally impaired is not good i'm tempted to swap them out because at least this guy gives us the only negative he's got is to a position he doesn't hold. We've actually lost money out of that. <laughs> New town emerges in Armenia. Can't worry about it now. And it's hit and turn. Oh, damn. Oh, Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Afghanistan. Ugh. How about <laughs> oh, I should just fight it first. I like playing the campaign. <laughs> oh, damn it. Spain's knocked out Morocco, so the uh the traditional marching of the Moroccan the sailing of the Moroccan navy is now a old forgotten tradition. Yeah, lots of Prussian troops are marching towards us. But we need to do it. We need... Oh, they're going to come around and attack one of our ports in retribution. Yeah, that's frustrating because it means that it's obviously it's a turn now spent with a suppressed income. Which I'd probably like to spend on. Well, growing my economy, fundamentally. Because so economy's good, we're earning 15 grand a turn. But damn, with these amount of regions and these amount of factories, our growth should be exploding right about now. We should be. We should be having so much more money than we can spend. But I think part of that is a bottleneck from not having a university in my home region to unlock the last level philosophy technologies because they are very powerful. The Louisianans are clearing out the, uh, the Caribbean of, Prussian, of uh, pirate troops. Let's hope the Afghanistan uh, stack doesn't make it all the way to... Uh, to my region. Here come the Danish. Oh, they did make it. Oh well. So they blockaded my ports. So I've only got five grand. Let's take my ships and attack it. It's just a fifth rate. Bromi. God, and we lost three ships. What? Oh, well, get them back to port. So we have Longitude Watch, and they've gone on to Carronades, and we've got Puddling Furnace, and they're going on to Machine Tools. Carronades, yes, because there's nothing else to research, because we need to build a naval college. 
Measuring tools, yes. Or maybe even advanced irrigation. So you've got lots of farms. And it's faster as well. Okay, so now we can recruit, finally. There they are. Nizam said it infantry. So let's get a first batch of six of those to send out to the troops. Let's push this guy up to the bridge. He can be backed up with these guys. Belgrade, you can have a madrasa. Make sure everyone that can replenish is being replenished. I, mean, I did recruit cannon for you, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Get a second unit of cannon as well. Okay. You're probably not needed in Greece anymore. This imam. So let's get you up to Hungary. So I do want to send my religious agents forward to try and cause problems. Fire in advance is useful. Light infantry doctrine. Get African light infantry mercenaries as if I'm going to use that. Um, have I not built a gunnery school? Is that still one turn away? Yeah, one turn away. Okay, now because they're in, they're in range, I may, I may defend there. So then these Israeli can move north. So these guys are here, waiting to see what the Prussians do, because one army may go hit Ayasi, which they can deal with, and then these guys can go in and take Luau, the territory. Okay. The Austrians are moving north. Because you can't cross the river. That's what it is, isn't it? They can't, they can't slash won't want to make a... Spain wants to do things. Who are you at war with? The Mughals. No, you are at war with Prussia. Yes. A strong Spain helps keep Prussian troops on the Spanish border. At least, theoretically, it does. But next turn we will have Great Arsenal, which we can then build. We can research quicklime shells, which will go a long way in helping us take these European towns. Because late game European infantry, even though we've got good melee infantry, their late game, or even medium game uh, infantry is pretty capable in melee combat. Especially when you consider my men would get shot to pieces getting there and then they would have to assault a wall where they'd be depleted the morale would be suppressed so quick climb is just fundamentally necessary but let's just keep infiltrating the frontiers of our enemy towns It would be beneficial if Denmark no longer existed, um, but uh, I mean, I don't like that one bit. Good. <laughs> oh, they're going to go take the Barbary States. 
So I think everyone is by default at war with the Barbary states. Declaring war on the Barbary states does not make them bad for me. Our spies are continuing their work. Serbia has developed a new town, as did Azerbaijan. Craft workshops, ports, madrasas, all sorts of all sorts of things to spend our money on. Let's promote an admiral of of, of our like second tier or bottom tier fleet. Um, let's get them repaired as well. this commercial port to upgrade the madrasa you're still taking your time to replenish you just stay nearby you're waiting on artillery support you can become a craft workshop Okay, I think I might have to bring my spy back down to Vienna in order to get a better view on what's just over the border. Carpet weavers, gunnery schools across the board. We've got our madrasas built. So let's just beef those up a little bit because they're cheap. Let's get the Pasha's Palace in Sofia just because it will. that's a top tier building and that will stop um, giving us an option to upgrade it. upgrade this port because it's cheap good so you can also use our priest to act as a uh, scout Aha! so one detachment of three go north another detachment of three Go to the northwest. Let's get Nizam said it light infantry, which is pretty neat. We also get obviously uh, heavy cavalry, finally, which is great. So spies are doing successful missions. The Afghanistan army has fallen back, which I suspect means it's probably going to go try and grab a uh, border territory from the Mughal Empire. Oh no, they're just at war with Spain. Um, let's let's actually have a fight this part at least <laughs> so let's go take out the Afghanistan army or the Afghanistan faction so we'll be going in aggressively they've got melee infantry but so do we our artillery is just going to pound the hell out of them from up here. So let's form one infantry block. It's going to be bad from a casualty perspective. To have them all bunched up like that, but we can't really deploy. Just split up our melee infantry among both camps. Each side gets a camel general up by the guns. Come on, you fellas. Stupid audio problems. Nope, our infantry is going to have to rush up hard. I didn't 
managed to get one of their garrison, one of their artillery units to waver and destroy one of their artillery pieces. It's pretty good going. No, you silly fools, I said to run. Keep the artillery pounding them, they seem to be doing a decent job. Killed a bunch of their crews. Another volley inbound. Let's kill a few more crewmen. Bring these men around the flank. Skirmishes. Risk is of soul of souls, maybe stay where you are. These men will clear off the file like on populace. Oh, you're okay like that. Those men do charge the dervishes. Populous gone, camel gunners gone. It's the unpopulous broken. So let's continue to pivot flank, bring the camels in. Charge in with Samat mercenaries to just take out the uh, dervish threats. The gunners have abandoned their positions entirely, so let's pick new targets. No, I should stay back. Go. Retreat around here. Maybe go hit this Phylacon populace that's to the rear. These guys are going to get cut down. They're going to get cut down by musket fire. Charge on my Semat Janissaries. Souls fall back. So you guys hit the dervishes. Bashir Bazook is going to hit charge and then hit them as well. It's a massive route. Let's charge the unit of Samat Janissaries to go cut off the Firelock Arm populace. See you men form up a new musket line. As we hit the first order. Alright, oh, yeah, that's their mortarmen we're just charging through there. Look at these poor devils. They've got their old fire locks. And we've got awesome kicking ass curd swords. <laughs> it's their comrades route behind them. Oh, it's gone funky again. I always feel like it does this a little bit afterwards after doing a. Wow, look at that!
That's really cool. Uh, actually, if I see if I go back here and do N N zoom out. Oh. N doesn't actually uh, get rid of the not. So I've, yeah, I got a screenshot of that. I thought that that's pretty neat. Especially as the enemy are the enemy is utterly destroyed. Oh, these men are about to try and route through our lines. Yeah, let's speed up time. It's just these poor armed populace. Charge! <laughs> no, don't charge. Just take the town. Good. Wall is ours. Let's do some replenishment. Good. Not that there's a lot in the region. Well, then again, there's a few towns. It's Kandahar, got Herat, and then you've also got Mazari, Mazari Sharif. Kandahar is going to grow in one turn. So Heden's also about to have a new town grow. Kuzdar. They've also got Tebat to the south. Awesome. So let's hit end turn. And watch how things play out. There's no escaping me. At some point, we're going to have to go on the offensive against the uh, Prussians and the Austrians. Have no, I have no doubt. But I don't want to overstretch. I don't want to spread my lines out so much that I just get smashed in the face and then pushed back again. That's what that would be concerning. <laughs> Especially as we're only now just rolling out top tier infantry and only now just rolling out um, or getting access to Quickline, which I've not actually, I've realized, not actually directed anyone to uh, research yet. <laughs> Whatever my best university is, they will research it. If we push in, take Hungary and Austria, that would be a huge gain. And it will take some converting to uh, com to change the population over, because they've got a lot of priests in that region. A lot of priests. The Mughals have plenty of time. Oh, there go the Barbary States. So that's another axis to, to beware Denmark, because they've now got a cubbyhole um, in northern, you know, in sort of uh, Belgium. Ooh. Priest. Good stuff. Let's send you up to Loire. New town emerges. Kandahar. Here you go. Have a craft workshop. And also repair your government building and also replenish your my troops. And also upgrade your farms. Although Herat's going to grow in four turns. Good stuff. Have I got good roads in Cairo? I do. I'm not so bothered about the military yet. I'm gonna want to sprint up the ordnance. Oh, I need to build ordnance board to get quick climb shells. Damn. But I don't need to roll out ordnance board anywhere else because I just want to get access to the research primarily. Okay, so army up here. Let's take out. Three units of Israeli, actually. Yeah. Take out three units of Israeli. Swap in the Nizam Sedit infantry. Same up here. March up. 
You can lose three units of infantry and replace it with Nizam Sedit. Nizam Sedit, shed it. Take the staff up, because that's quite a good uh, position to hold on the right, especially with this sort of army. Probably march at the Israeli as, as a reserve. And maybe continue to slowly advance these troops. Let's get you into this region. Aha! That's a lot of artillery. They're on the march. Barbary states are destroyed. Let's keep upgrading our economic base. It's down to 13,000 now. So, we're, you know, I really need... Actually, can I upgrade... Okay, sorry, Sophia. I need to upgrade this university to a modern university to get access to these bottom texts down here. Free trade, loads of wealth. Classical economics, loads of wealth. Those are what I need. These, not so much. Religious unrest would be helpful because I'm attacking in a in a direction that doesn't have any. Well, no, there's not really very many Muslims in this area. 100% Catholic. They're war weary. But yeah, in Prague, look. Got priest. Priest. Another priest. Erbhard Spielmann. Well, you can come after us if you want. I can't direct anyone to research quicklime because we need the next tier government building. And I'm probably going to move. Have I got a madras zone here? No, it's all universe. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so this agent here, who I've been moving across, he can go up to Croatia. Because Athens is already pretty happy. They've got a bit of religious unrest, but not much. Okay, well. It's maybe a time to... Okay, move up and take the fort. See if that can provoke them into attacking. You garrison Iesi. Klausenberg, not Klausenberg, Topal Hamid, you march up around here to provide some support to these guys. Good. I think I might do one more end turn. Yeah, the Austrians and the Prussians, they formed a they thought they're forming a combined front. Although we very much could do with quicklime. Oh, come on. Damn. I was hoping I could intercept. So the Prussians have moved up to Hungary to provide support. Ooh, they have decided to attack us. Well, that's pretty neat. So, uh, looking at the end turn, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for this slight experiment. Um, how we actually deal with... How we actually deal with an enemy assault. Unfortunately, Nizam said it. They've got less defence, but more attack. Than Israeli, but loads more morale. Um, this should be interesting. Too bad I've got too much cavalry. I'll probably deploy those outside the walls. But yeah, should be fun. I've not actually fought a proper siege defence against a with an Ottoman army against a proper Western army. I mean, not like a decent one like these guys are. So it should be interesting. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.